there's no question in my mind that wireless radiation is not safe. We should not wait until we can count the bodies before we take steps to, first of all, research the hazards of something new, and then secondly, take steps to reduce exposure to humans. I mean, looking at the evidence so far, I could not say it, say it is safe, particularly 5G, because 5G is much more than just 4G. It's a much higher frequency. Most many more antennas, a lot of times these small cell antennas can be very quite close to where people live or sleeping. And in those situations, um, I believe there is a potential for a real health hazard. There is no scientific evidence, no, none, zero, uh, that, that it's safe. Uh, I would say that it entered the market in the complete absence of pre-market uh, experimentation to evaluate safety. There is no evidence of safety. On the other hand, there is voluminous evidence suggesting a real and, and present danger of risk to human health. Uh, in terms of risk, we have enormous amounts of evidence that excessive exposure to wireless radiation increases the risk of a variety of different diseases. There's a plethora of studies to, to give a reasonable, rational person pause. Pause for what? To conduct appropriate studies aimed at answering that question. But they do not exist. Certainly there's a risk. All forms of human disease, you don't want it to happen to you involuntarily. You might like your cell phone a lot and you want it to put up with a risk, fine but you gotta be warned and not lied to by the industry with the cooperation of, dare I say, the politicians on the councils. We can't assume that it's safe until proven dangerous. We should assume that we should prove it safe before we have those kinds of exposures going on because whatever harm is done may be long lasting or lifelong. I would say that the prudent thing from a biological and health point of view would be to have as little of it as possible until we are all convinced from looking at all different points of view in the science that it really is safe. It can be suggested that 5G communication may be more significant for health risk as compared to any other frequency range. We also know from both human and from animal studies that these non-thermal intensities damage DNA. And damage to DNA is the basis of, of cancer formation. It's the basis of birth defects. It's a, a major part of what we know to be aging, the generation of reactive oxygen species, well, uh, we have clearly seen that there is an increased risk for brain tumors for long-term use of mobile phones and also the cordless phones. So we are exposing ourselves to signals that are in the same language that our brains and bodies use in that they're electromagnetic, but they're speaking a very odd dialect or version of it that's something that living organisms have never seen. I'm worried about the children, the youth. I'm worried about all human beings. I'm worried about the insects in the world. There's some real suggestion that this will decimate insects that are vital for our food supply and for ecological systems. I'm worried about health and life on earth with this technology. Um, data centers, which are used for like cloud computing services, Wi-Fi and everything, are very heavily, um, you know, energy intensive, which means they're gonna be eventually with a 5G system set up, the, the energy load on the, on the grid is gonna be much greater. The 5G technology will be transporting gigabits of low frequency data on a high frequency carrier wave, which will extend in the into the millimeter wavelengths.
This technology has not undergone rigorous biological long-term testing. From a cell phone, a single pulse has two edges, right? A beginning edge and a trailing edge. Yes. Each edge triggers a physiological response in the brain. I measured it and gave statistical evidence for its existence. So each time a pulse goes into the brain, the body is triggered to a response, two responses. 217 pulses per second, that's 534 edges per second. These are the physiological responses that are ongoing that ultimately sum to whatever hazards exist and, uh, and definitely sum to the present risks that exist. The 5G will all be absorbed um, near the surface of the skin and therefore because of various aspects about the parameters of how the um, signal uh, about the signal and and how it's delivered and and transmitted um, could lead to heat damage in a fairly short time it indicates that it may not be safe the 5g mobile communication will use so-called millimeter waves which i have been studied since uh, late 1980s of exposure to millimeter waves may inhibit DNA repair induced by ionizing radiation. But as far as providing protection against environmental level, you know, the sort of fields that we experience in day-to-day -day life or like being quite close like 5G antennas, for instance, uh, it's, the standard is actually irrelevant because it does not cover th th those exposures. So it's ingenuous for people to say, oh, look, the standards pro provide protection against everything. It doesn't provide protection against children, for instance. By pressing government to control this industry, which uh, in many cases is sort of captured, uh, the regulatory bodies are captured by the industry itself. The ICNR guidelines uh, are doo-doo. There's no other way to put it. ICNRP itself is a a self-organized, uh, a self-accredited uh, German company They're chosen by a secret process. Uh, uh, they have serious conflict of interest uh, or they know nothing about the subject that they are opining about, the uh, health risks of environmental electromagnetic energy uh, uh, or both. And so far as I can tell, only two or three of them have ever worked in the field. Uh, uh, they are industry lapdog. They're, they're stakeholders. ICNIV guidelines do not protect us from effects of wireless mobile communication. I don't think that one should rely on those guidelines because they are not correct. They are not looking in an objective way on the science of uh, health risks from radio frequency radiation. I have looked into the ICNIP. 2020, the new guidelines, and what they do is that they uh, omit from uh, their review studies that show that there is an increased risk, for example, on cancer. This is a guideline which is uh, good for industry, but it's bad for human health. In most suburban streets, uh, a mini cell tower is put up in front of about every sixth to tenth house. But they're not generating only 5G, they're generating 3 and 4G as well. Those are the frequencies for which we have ample evidence of harm. What does one mean about a smart city? If by a smart city you mean that everything is done using radio frequency fields, uh, that's not smart. As far as I can say, the people who allow it uh, have got to either demand evidence of safety or concede they lack evidence of safety and there's a, a definite possibility of risk and or to make a more emphatic explanation for those people. No, no animal has ever been forced to live in the proximity to the electromagnetic energy. You will be forced to live in proximity there too. We don't know if it will make you sick. We see no evidence that it will. We see no evidence that it won't because the, the, the pre-market evidence normally expected for a product uh, that's going to put uh, potentially dangerous 
emanation into the environment. Those have not been done. From my point of view, the motivation for this is not need, but economic. And I don't think that's a good way of dealing with public health. I think we need to do safety first. We don't have enough of that research on 5G. I think it's grossly premature to be rolling something out on this scale when there are this many objections. I can't see any good public health or scientific or human need reason for it. But really, we need uh, these new studies and uh, wide discussions before we can really answer the question. Uh, I do, do have serious concerns about the large scale deployment of wireless technology with millions of small cells antennas being positioned in close proximity to people 24 seven. I would not have one of these small cells located on a street pole outside my house, uh, just meters away from my living environment. I believe this 5G rollout is an unethical experiment on humanity and the environment. There's more of a risk to health than is rational, or I would say moral, to impose on somebody without examining the question independently.